hello students welcome to my channel uh, today we are going to discuss uh, example 1.1 chapter number one introduction and the first law of thermodynamics from the book applied thermodynamics by T.D. Stop and Mikonki the statement of the problem is unit mass of a fluid at a pressure of 3 bar and with a specific volume of 0.18 cubic meter per kilogram contained in a cylinder behind a piston expands reversibly to a pressure of 0.6 bar according to a law P is equal to C by V square where C is a constant. Calculate the work done during the process. So first of all the data which is given in this statement mass is unit mass means 1 kilogram pressure P1 is basically 3 bar initial pressure before expansion that is 3 bar are converting it to Pascal, it will become 3 multiplied 10 to the power 5 Pascal. <coughs> and the specific volume at this position is V1 and it is equal to 0 0.18 cubic meter per kilogram. When it expands, pressure rises and it becomes 0 0.6 bar or in Pascal it will become 0 0.6 tennis to power 5 Pascal. During expansion, the pressure decreases while volume increases and vice versa so if we sketch the expansion process on the PV diagram so this is state 1 initially it has pressure 3 bar and specific volume is 0 0.8 0 0.18 cubic meter per kilogram and it expands according to this law P is equal to C by V square and it goes to state 2 after expansion the arrow direction is downward it shows that this is expansion process so you see that at state 1 we have high pressure this is pressure axis and the specific volume is this much similarly when it expands the pressure value decreases and it becomes 0 0.6 bar while the specific volume increases and it is V2 here it is V1 and it is V2. Note it down that we are using small v for specific volume. This shows specific volume while capital U is simply used to denote volume. And we know that the relationship between the specific volume and volume is that we can define specific volume as volume per unit mass. That's why the unit of specific volume is cubic meter per kilogram and simple volume becomes m times specific volume. So this is the relationship which is 
uh, subsequently used in the in this formula as well to write it in the form of m into small v which is specific volume <coughs> so now this is the overall data and we are going to find the work done during this process so required is the work done from state 1 to state 2 according to thermodynamic convention this is the work done by the fluid or in other words this is the work done from the system or in other words this is the work output of the system so there are three types of statements which can be associated with this work done all three of them are correct the statements are correct so now going to the solution of this problem so we have a uh, expression for work done that is w is equal to minus m integral from 1 to 2 p dv this mv is basically the volume of the fluid or the space contained containing that volume of fluid so this is basically the shaded area integrate integration from 1 to 2 integral from 1 to 2 pdv is basically the shaded area in this diagram so we arrange this expression according to our requirement which we have given the law p is equal to c by v square so p is replaced with c by v square so when we put c by v square in place of p so it becomes c is constant it will come out minus cm integral small v1 to small v2 these are specific volumes and 1 over v square into dv or dv by v square so when we apply integral and when we integrate it it becomes minus cm minus 1 over v from v1 to v2 these are the limits so this is basically for example an expression after integration here we don't know the value of c so to find the value of c c is equal to pv square according to the law given so p initially is 3 we we know the initial conditions p1 v1 so that's why we are using p1 v1 to find the value of c p1 is 3 bar and v is 0 0.18 cubic meter per kilogram so when we multiply these values we get 0 0.0972 bar into cubic meter per kilogram whole square similarly to find the value of v2 we we know about the value of v2 that is 0 0.6 bar and c value is also known to us so it's very easy to find the value of specific volume at state 2 so v2 is equal to square root of c by p2 c is 0 0.0972 and p2 is 0 0.6 so it becomes 0 .0, 0 0.402 cubic meter per kilogram so now we know about all values of the unknown putting it in this equation or expression a so it becomes w is equal to c is minus 0 0.0972 m is 1 and 10 to the power 5 is just for converting it to pascal this is the um, multiple and n2 these are the limits when we put 1 over v1 minus 1 over v2 these are becomes in the denominator it becomes 1.1 1 .1, uh, by 0 0.18 minus 
वन ओवर जीरो पॉइंट फोर जीरो टू एन न्यूटन मीटर पर किलोग्राम सो वेन वी सिंप्लीफाई दीज वैल्यूज वी गेट माइनस टू नाइन एट फोर जीरो न्यूटर मीटर पर किलोग्राम सो दिस इज द वर्क डन बाय द फ्लूड विच इज टू नाइन एट फोर जीरो न्यूटन मीटर पर किलोग्राम सो दिस इज द ओवर ऑल डिस्कशन रिगार्डिंग एग्जाम्पल वन पॉइंट वन एंड इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल वी विल बी गोइंग टू डिस्कस एग्जाम्पल वन पॉइंट टू थैंक यू थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग प्लीज लाइक एंड कमेंट on my videos also subscribe my channel to get new videos